Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to show you a trick that will teach you how to literally tame things two times as fast on Ark Survival Ascended. Now, there is a little bit of a cost for this uh, little trick that you can use, but early game, it's a very powerful thing that you can use in order to tame things way faster, literally two times as fast. So anyways, before we get into that, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for that algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel for some more helpful art content. Now, any berry eater is a trick, is how this trick works. So you can see that I've got a female Carbonemus right here. And in order to obviously tame a Carbonemus, you need to knock it out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this one so you can see, and it's obviously knocked out right now, right? So you'll notice that on the list, even though it, it can be something that doesn't seem like it's a good idea, is using stem berries. Now, stem berries can actually make a creature tame two times as fast. All you need is to be able to have access to them. So you can have access to stem berries, and then you're also going to need access to just general berries, right? Now, the reason that we're going to do it like this is because you can walk up to any bush in the entire game, right? And you'll just naturally get berries. The more you walk up to, the more you're going to get, right? That's just how it works. That's just arc as a whole. So what happens is in order to tame your early game creatures inside of Ark, you are literally going to run up to them and you're going to put berries inside of them. Normally speaking, you want to avoid stem berries or people think you do because it'll raise their torpidity. However, if I put stem berries inside of a tame and do not force feed this thing to take the actual stem berry, notice how the torpidity doesn't actually increase. However, the taming percent goes up. You can see it right now, right? This guy is actually increasing the taming percent with the simple trade of taming effectiveness. So in early game, when you just need a couple of basic tames, this is one of the most useful tricks in the entire game, because even though its unconsciousness is not increasing any faster, this thing will continue to eat stem berries, and basically per stem berry, it's gonna get about a percent of its overall um, taming bar. So yes, it does cost you taming effectiveness. However, it'll literally double the speed in which you tame something. Now you can throw in some berries as well, and these will cause it to stop eating those stem berries, and it will make it move on to those berries in general, and it will make this tame two times as fast. So like this is one times that I'm, I've got a taming bar on my uh, server, and you can see that we've almost tamed this thing. Now it's only level 10, so keep that in mind, but uh, it's gonna continue to chomp away at those stem berries, basically increasing by two times. And again, the only trading thing that you're gonna have to deal with is the taming effectiveness as a whole is going to continue to go down the more stem berries they have to eat. Now, the only negative, right, is as soon as they run out of berries inside of this right here, this taming, the actual taming bar goes down. So make sure you always have berries present. So you can see that I can toss some normal berries and he'll automatically eat those. And then he's basically fully tamed at this point in time. However, because I have more than 600 total tames, he's not going to actually tame at any point. But I just wanted to show you the point. So if you throw stem berries in any, and it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's a berry eater, it will continue to tame your actual, um, what you're going for, right? So you can see this Carbonemus, as soon as I take those berries out, it's gonna drop its value. But for things like Parasaurs, where you don't necessarily care about the overall level, you're just trying to actually tame them. This is a fantastic trick where you can just toss in those stem berries and it eats them and literally gains that taming effectiveness. So. And you can see it right there, right? You can, and the answer is yes, you can tame one of these things with 100, like just by using stem berries, you just need a ton of them. And it's gonna tame things way faster. And one of the best things you can do is like I did with that turtle over there, is you cycle it, right? So I put some stem berries in there. I guess I only pulled one stem berry out of that. That's kind of funny. And then what you can do when you're actually um, running around picking up normal berries, I just got a few right there, is it's gonna get hungry and eat normal berries, right? So once I, have a few in my inventory. I've been feeding it those uh, stem berries. I toss in some of those normal berries and that greatly increases the taming effectiveness. And you can see it's going insanely quickly, right? So stem berries will actually increase your taming time, but decrease the taming effectiveness. So any berry, I mean, any tame that eats uh, berries, this will work for just so you know, and it's a very, very useful trick. It will not eat for anything that eats meat. It only works for uh, berry tames, but it can be very, uh, useful trick in order to actually tame just about anything in the entire game quickly or i guess two times as fast so hopefully this little trick helps you out a ton and uh, again if you don't mind smash that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel all right teach out